The Philippine Statistics Authority, or PSA, says Thursday the gross domestic product or GDP growth for the first quarter of 2019 plunges to a four year low of 5.6%. Analysts and experts expected economic growth to slow down, but not as low as this. It is slower than the revised 6.3% registered during the fourth quarter of 2018. This year's first quarter growth is the lowest since the 5% recorded in the first quarter of 2015. The GDP is an economic indicator which accounts for all the finished goods and services produced within the country in a specific period. Socioeconomic Planning Secretary Ernesto Pernia says the delayed passage of the 2019 budget sharply slowed the pace of economic growth. He says the economy should have grown by as much as 6.6% this first quarter. President Rodrigo Duterte signed the 3.757 trillion budget only last April 15. Police Chief Turned Senator Panfilo Lacson says Thursday he does not buy the so-called matrix released by Malacanang. Hindi rin ako bilib do sa matrix na pinalabas si Secretary Panelo. Lacson doubts the diagrams because the illustrations included even Filipina Olympic medalist Idelin Diaz and broadcaster Gretchen Ho. She has brought honor and pride, prestige to the country. Pagkatapos, biglang masasali doon, may time ba yung bata na makialam doon sa destabilization? Parang napaka-unlikely. So, kung sino man na nag-prepare noong matrix o yung information na yun, uh, parang kulang sa, kulang sa research. Malacanang released a new set of diagrams Wednesday saying groups allied with the opposition are conspiring against President Duterte. Presidential spokesman and legal counsel Salvador Panelo could not state the source of the diagrams. South Korea military says the North fired a number of unidentified projectiles Thursday. The launch came just days after North Korea carried out a military drill and fired multiple projectiles with at least one believed to be a short-range missile. South's Joint Chiefs of Staff spokesman Kim jun rak tells AFP, quote, We are still analyzing whether it is a single or multiple projectiles. Spokesman for the North's Delegation for Military Talks with the South says earlier Thursday, the routine drill was conducted within its own waters and adds the flying objects did not pose any threat to the U.S., South Korea, and Japan. The Parliament of Singapore Wednesday passes laws to combat fake news. These new laws will allow authorities to order the removal of online content from social media sites like Facebook and Twitter. If a post is judged to be malicious and damaging to Singapore's interests, companies could be hit with fines of up to 1 million Singapore dollars or 735,000 US dollars. Individuals could face jail terms of up to 10 years. Amnesty International's Regional Director for East and Southeast Asia, Nicholas Bekelin, says authorities must drop plans to enact the laws. He says in a statement, quote, This bill would give the Singapore authorities unchecked powers to clamp down on online views of which it disapproves. This is an alarming scenario. While tech firms must take all steps to make digital spaces safe for everyone, this does not provide governments an excuse to interfere with freedom of expression or rule over the news feed. Britain's Prince Harry and wife Meghan on Wednesday announces their new dream son's name is Archie. The couple posts on their Instagram account, quote, The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are pleased to announce they have named their firstborn child, Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex emerged in front of the cameras inside Windsor Castle earlier Wednesday to show off their son ahead of introducing him to great-grandmother Queen Elizabeth II. 